Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 24, and today we're talking about the Distortion module. That can be found in the FX section here. You click on Distortion and is on the second row here and is the first one in the Distortion category. So for this demonstration on the Synth section, I'm just using a sine wave from the Analog Engine because it's very interesting to see how a sine wave gets changed from Distortion. So the first one we have here is called Soft Clip. So let's take a listen to that and bring this drive knob all the way up. Now keep in mind, this is 50% dry and 50% wet, so if we have this knob here all the way to the right, we're going to be hearing 100% wet of the distortion. Which is interesting because this shape here in the oscilloscope looks very similar to the description here on the module. So always keep an eye on the dry-wet ratio here and the drive and see how they work into uh, how they work with each other. So moving on from there, we have the auto button here. Now this is helpful, that's probably why it's on default. So this is kind of an auto gain or auto, auto volume compensation. So if we have this off here, let's turn this drive all the way down and we have our sine wave and we increase this drive, we can see it's getting really loud very quickly. And it's nice to have this auto on because this is, this is gonna compensate for the volume while we can really just fo focus on dialing in the right distortion for our sound. And we can even see our meters here at the top, how they're pretty much the same. And if this is off, we can see how that just a little bit of moving is really driving those meters crazy. So make sure to keep that one on. I always leave that one on by default because I find it very useful. And then to the right is the output of this distortion module. And if you want to drive um, this distortion module a little bit harder into something else, this is a knob that you'd want to reach for. So moving on from there, what's very helpful in this module here is this filter section. So it's off by default, but if you click the button down here and turn it on, what this does is this is adding a filter built into the distortion. So here at the bottom, you can decide pre or post. You can say, do you want this your signal filtered before it goes into the, into the distortion or do you want it filtered after the distortion? So for this demonstration, we can go to post. So it's going to get distorted and then it's going to go into the filter. Now, if we select low pass, what's very useful for this is if we have a signal like this, for example, let's play a note here. We have it really distorted. Now, let's say we don't like the top end stuff of the distortion that's kind of coming with this. We can turn on this filter here and then kind of taper off a little bit here. So we can keep that distortion sound, but really take off the top end. And I've had to do that in a few patches where there's a lot of distortion to really get the, uh, this, the characteristics of the sound, but it adds a lot of top end stuff that I didn't really want. So having this filter here is very, very convenient. Now you have a choice of low pass, high pass and band pass. And this works as regular filters too, as well, because you have your cutoff that we just did right here. And then we have a resonance. If you want to add that, you can as well. So a very cool feature there. Now, the last thing we need to talk about for the knobs here is this dark setting here. So let's turn this cutoff all the way to the top and take a listen to the sound. Now we enable dark, and this is going to add a, some high frequency dampening to the output of the distortion. So it's helpful to know if that's there. Maybe that's the uh, easy knob that you want to reach for. Maybe you're doing this patch and you're just kind of having some trouble with the filter. Maybe just try to toggle this, this dark button here and maybe that will help you out right there. So moving on from there, let's put our stuff back to default, turn off our filter here. And we don't just have soft clip. We have quite a few. So there's a lot of, of these distortion modules to check with. We have overdrive, we have exponential soft clip that we just looked at, distortion, hard clip, tape, germanium, asymmetrical, wiggle, wave folder, dual fold, stairs, howl, core, push. How many more of those do we have? And then climb. And these all sound very different. So for example, let's take a listen to overdrive. And this one's not as interesting on a sine wave, but just keep that in mind right there. And we have some tone. And if we have our mouse, we can always see what this says. It says a tone control on the overdrive unit goes from darker to brighter. So maybe a saw wave might be a little bit more interesting for this one here. So we can kind of hear the effects right there. Let's go back to our sine wave and check out some of the other sounds here. So we have overdrive, then we have exponential. Let's go full, full wet here so we can really see what's going on here. Next up, we have soft clip, the one we were just talking about. Then we have distortion. We have hard clip. Tape. 
And for this, let's maybe do some more interesting sounds here. Let's do a try saw away for some of these. Let's go to overdrive here. Exponential there, soft clip. Distortion. Hard clip. Tape. This one's one of my favorites here because this is a very nice, it's more so a saturation rather than distortion, I feel. Germanium. Asymmetrical. Then we have wiggle. And it's interesting how it does that to the waveform right there. And then we have wave folder. We've talked about this before, so you should be familiar with it at this point. And this one comes with an extra effect here, sign or try. Moving on from wave folder, we have dual fold. That one's really cool looking. Then we have stairs, which seems very similar to the wiggle one we, that we looked at just a little bit ago. Then we have howl. We have core. Push. Climb. And then back to overdrive. So you might be thinking to yourself, okay, we have a lot of distortions. Maybe they sound a little similar. And yes, they kind of do. But once you have your patch made and maybe you're trying to recreate something like that and there's a distortion on a certain type of sound, you're going to be surprised that changing out the type of distortion will really make the patch sound like what you're maybe trying to emulate. And I've had that happen to me quite a bit before where I'm like, okay, maybe this distortion is not right. And sometimes I've had to co combine soft clip, distortion, maybe a little bit of germanium and then maybe some tape or something like that. And that's another cool thing of pigments because you can add multiple types of distortion by just adding more distortion modules like that and then changing them to maybe hard clip or to tape or something like that and then with these outputs you can kind of decide how much of this you really want to uh to feed into the next distortions and so on and so forth so i thought i'd mention that as well so thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video